Hello everyone and welcome back to Extreme Gaming Fever. A lot of people were requesting me to show them that I should show how the game starts and uh, how the you can enter in the game and everything. By the way, I showed you from A to Z how I start my game. So hopefully this will satisfy you now. So by the way, today we are going to I'm going to review the quad track tractor from case IH the most powerful tractor of this game and to buy that I need some power too that means I need some money I need some more moolah to purchase that thing so I'm going to do some in app purchases one more time and uh, hopefully now I have enough money to purchase that tractor that monster tractor so yeah let's go to the tractors category I can't wait to drive that thing yeah, this thing is a beast. Where it is? Um, okay, so here it is. The Quadtrack 620 from Case IH. The most powerful tractor of Farming Simulator 20. And now it's in my hands. Wow. I can't believe I I am the owner. <laughs> that, was a, that was going to be a very bad joke, but I cancelled it and here we go wow this look at this thing wow this thing is huge i mean come on guys just look at that wow just look at that it's it's almost the size of a harvester i mean it's not a normal tractor but it's a gigantic beast of this game the quadrack 620 and I just hope they add something bigger than that and you know what I mean that's the big bar tractor but I'm today I'm going to review this tractor so keep watching this video and it will it can save you some money definitely and uh, um, half a million actually <laughs> so you can see the in exterior of this tractor is very well modeled and uh, you can see all the details it's super it's amazing especially the uh, track tires so let's hop inside and uh, see the interior you can see uh, we have a very detailed interior as well very clean and uh, very detailed at the same time and uh, on this side we don't have a lot of controls uh, which surprised me a little bit uh, and then we have a small little seat right there so this is the interior of this monster beast so I'm sh I'm definitely going to check this in fields very soon in this video so but first let's see how it feels like to drive inside this monster Wow you can see the sounds so this these are the original game sounds i intentionally uh, made them a little bit louder so that you can uh, listen the roar of this monster as well the next day okay so today we are going to test this tractor inside a field let's see how this tractor performs in a field so i don't have any big field this tractor is designed for a big field i'm sorry if i made some mistakes because I'm not going to buy a new field and yet I have purchased this cultivator uh, from the horse and this is the biggest cultivator in this game so far and uh, it requires solid 500 horsepower which is you can you can see that it's by the way this, this I could not understand why this cultivator requires such amount of horsepower but yeah it really it really need a lot of horsepower so i only have three fields so i'm going to test this tractor in one of my field i cannot purchase a big field although as i mentioned earlier this tractor is designed for bigger fields where you don't have to turn it again and again but i'm going to test this tractor in a very small field moreover as this thing has a tractor and it turns from back wheels so it's a very different experience to drive this thing i will definitely make a lot of mistakes so please ignore that and bear with me yeah that's that's your duty 
all right so we are arrived at our field and we can finally unlaw unfold this gigantic cultivator as well so let me align this first <laughs> and uh, as uh, okay so let me align this it's very difficult to reverse this thing i mean just look at that you can't you you need to use to it otherwise uh, you will definitely make a lot of mistake i didn't drive that tractor in farming simulator 19 as well i usually prefer normal tractors with normal tires i don't even like uh i rarely drive challenger tractors as well because of their track tires because uh, track tires tractors turn really quickly and uh, uh, if a tool like this connected in the back, uh, they block the turning of tractor, so their turning radius is, uh, because their turning radius is very short, so, by the way, you can see that this tractor is easily operating this cultivator, and like, it's not a problem for this tractor, of course we have more than 600 horsepower in this tractor, and this cultivator requires only 500 horsepower so this thing will operate this thing this cultivator without any problem but now the problem will start here as the turning radius of this tra tractor is very small and uh, th this tool is very wide so you can see that i cannot turn this tractor really quickly when i have this cultivator attached to my tractor so that's a big problem with tractors which has a uh, track tires so that's why i usually prefer normal tractors with normal tires to be honest my favorite tractor in this game uh, is going to be the uh, fen 1050 vario and the john deere 8r both sexy boys are going to be my favorite in this game uh, i definitely use this tractor uh, to do some important things in the largest fields whenever i will purchase that field which i i'm assuming i'm seeing i will purchase that field very soon so you can see that this tractor is operating this cultivator which requires 500 solid 500 horsepower and this tractor is really easily uh, you know operating this thing i don't know if there's any other tool that requires such horsepower uh, maybe i haven't checked that yet because I'm really busy in making videos instead of exploring this game. Okay, so there is the last test. I skipped uh, the cultivation process to save some time. And you can see if you try to drive this thing on a cliff, uh, the horsepower I guess doesn't even matter because the physics is same. Even my John Deere 6R moves in the same speed. so. There's not a huge difference in this tractor and John Deere 6R. So I guess it's not because of horsepower, it's because of uh, phys physics. Although this tractor should uh, you know, climb on this hill really easily with some more speed, but it didn't... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. By the way, it was very slow. So thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like if you like this video. And for watching more con exclusive content of Farming Simulator 20, make sure you subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon. I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye bye.